I'm Jonathan McCall. Today, Phoenix officially hitting 99 degrees over at Phoenix Sky Harbor. But guess what, folks? Triple digits are indeed expected tomorrow. And whether or not you are new to the valley or if you've been here a long time, if you don't pay attention to the heat, it can definitely have some serious consequences. Team 12's Jade Cunningham shares what you need to know about the difference between heat exhaustion and heat stroke. Jade? As the temperature rises, it's very serious. It will kill you if you aren't paying attention to the signs. So does concern. Seems like this week we're seeing a lot more heat related illness as the temperatures kind of spiked up this week. So you're definitely seeing a lot elderly, you know, uh, getting overheated uh, and young people as well. So um, yeah, this week has been a, a definite spike. Which is why it's important to know when there's a problem. We get used to being outside and enjoying the, the nice weather, and then it kind of hits you out of nowhere. Complacency is a problem when it comes to the heat. Arizona Fire and Medical Authority Division Chief Ashley Losh says heat exhaustion can cause dizziness, excessive sweating, cool, clammy, pale skin, and possibly nausea and or vomiting. And that's time to get inside, get cooled down, sip some water, don't chug the water. Heat stroke is much more serious. Signs include severe headache, confusion, and a change in behavior. The body also stops sweating and will feel hot to the touch. Get them inside, get them cooled down, and we mean active cooling with that. So that's ice packs in the groin, in the armpits, something behind the neck, and maybe even a cool compress on the head. If a person is in an altered state, experts say to not give them water and instead call 911 to get them help immediately. Every minute counts. Every minute counts. Every minute that your body is above that critical temperature, it's causing damage. It can damage your kidneys, your livers, your brain. And with triple digit heat on the horizon. We see a 10% increase in the summer calls for heat related injury and illness, um, and, and that's avoidable. Experts encourage you to pay attention, hydrate, and look after each other. Jade Cunningham, 12 News. Some great reminders, Jade. Thank you. And boy, definitely, it will feel like summer tomorrow as we are set to hit the 100-degree mark for the first time in 2023.